this morning, and today is the final day of the DC Auto Show taking place at the DC Convention Center, one of the largest indoor auto shows in North America. And this morning, we are joined live by Paul Yepes with Electricity Bikes. So good morning to you, Paul. Thanks for joining us live this morning. I want to talk to you about these bikes. Are they usually featured at the auto show, and are they becoming more popular? Yeah, they have been more popular. Uh, the electric bikes are pedal assist bikes. They throw you forward a little bit as you're pedaling. Uh, it's not like a motorcycle or scooter, and we've been giving test rides at the auto show, and it's been pretty great. Turnout has been amazing. How many bikes do you have on display? Like how many different types? Um, there's probably over 60 different models that we have out on display, but they're literally just different trims, versions, colors of different variable options that are available. So for example, just like with cars, you have trims, base, middle, high end. So if you count all of those models plus every single color and trim, you're over 60 plus in terms of what's here. Do you have a model that's been like more popular than the others or people like flocking to one in particular? The cargo bikes are particularly uh, of interest, mostly because um, you can put a child in the front or up to two, up to really three sometimes, and then you have the ability to put an adult in there. So if you wanted to, you could ride around, you know, with your significant other, you could ride around with a disabled child, you could ride around with a dog. So you just choose really what you want to ride around with, and that's one of the ones that have drawn the most attention. Yeah, big draw for families. It makes sense. Um, so with that e-track, the e-bike test track rather are folks enjoying kind of being able to take it out on the road if you will yeah so it's like a loop it's um you probably have like a stretch of i don't know how many feet but essentially people get to loop around it four or five six times and then they you know head on out it gives them the experience to test the feel of the e-bike because otherwise you think like an e-bike normally people believe that the e-bikes have throttles or accelerators when really due to regulation most of the e-bikes that are commonly sold at bike shops won't be having an accelerator or a throttle all right paul really really quick can you just give us a price range on on some of these bikes here the base level bikes will start around three grand or so, but they go all the way up to 15,000. All right, it's the last day of the auto show. Get out there, enjoy 15K. All right, if you got it, you can spend it, right? Thanks, Paul, for your time. We appreciate it.